Good morning. It's Sunday, June 20th, and there has been a lot of excitement going on around Joe Manchin. I don't know if excitement is the best possible word. But attention guessing might be better. And Joe Manchin has come up with a compromise for the heavily controversial voting act, or as it's better known, a for the people bill. Now, both the Democrats and the Republicans have made claims as to why this bill must be passed or why it must be stopped. Now, the Democrats claim that they have to have this bill because of the voter suppression that's being executed in the Republican-dominated states. And the Republicans claim that the Democrats want this bill passed because it favors the Democrat, because it's not about people voting, but it's about getting people to vote Democratic. And that's why the Republicans are against this bill. And of course, the overriding thing has been the false narrative about the presidential election of 2020 and how there was so much fraud, and that's why the Republican candidate lost the election. Now, I myself believe that we need to have some standard criteria, no matter who's running the election. It must be run the same way, and everybody must have the same types of voter IDs, etc., etc. So Manchin has suggested something very similar to what I suggested. And let me tell you what his compromise is all about. First of all, he's taken out a lot of stuff from the For the People Act. And the main thing he wants to eliminate was the section that dealt with fundraising. Because in the bill, it talked about dark money, and it talked about getting rid of anonymous campaign funding, where people can give you money, but they don't have to tell anybody who's giving the money. So campaign funding right now is unidentified money. That's why they call it dark money. And that was in the For the People Act the suppression of that type of campaign funding. So Manchin wants to discard that, wants to take that part out of the bill, which of course will make a lot of politicians very happy. I don't know if it'll make the people happy, but it'll make a lot of politicians happy. And he also said that he's in favor of automatic voter registration. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, automatic voter registration. But I'm assuming that it is some formal registration process that would be universal. It would be the same in all the states, which would be a good thing. He also wants to make an election day a holiday. Now, I remember when I was a kid, election day was a holiday. But they gave it up when they added certain other days to the calendar, other other holidays to the calendar. So election day disappeared. But he wants to bring it back. He has also cited that you should have at least 15 days of early voting for federal elections. Now, I'm in favor of that. It should be a fixed number of days for early voting. I don't know if 15 days is right. I don't know if 20 days is right. I don't know if 10 days is right. But it should be universal. It shouldn't be that Washington state had 23 or 35 days in the last election. And some other state only had 14 days. He has something that he wants to call banned partisan gerrymandering. Now, gerrymandering has become an art form with the Republicans, and they control more than half of the state legislatures in this country. And they have done a much better job than the Democrats at gerrymandering. So it's clear that the Republicans have outmaneuvered the Democratic Party in many areas associated with voting. And since they control more than half the states, even though the half the states that they control represents only about 35 or 40 percent of the population, population doesn't matter that much in this country because we're not a straight majority rule voting country. Control of the states is very important, as we can see. And Manchin also believes that there should be several voter ID provisions. Now, many Democrats oppose voter ID provisions, and I don't know why they they would oppose that. Don't you think we should know who's voting? I think so. But Joe has suggested that we can use other forms of identification. For instance, like a utility bill. 
that proves you live in an area. I don't know if I would go with a utility bill since there's no picture on it or something like that. But certainly there should be some standard forms of ID that ha that you have to present if requested. Like when I voted, all I had to do was sign in. Republican claim that this new bill subverts the First Amendment in favor of the cancel culture. And it takes away redistricting from state legislatures and hands it over to computers. Well, there is something in the bill that talked about an independent commission to gerrymander the states as opposed to the state legislatures, which would gerrymander it in their favor. And maybe it should be done by a computer because the computer doesn't pay attention to color or age. It would probably just do it by district and counting of the population. And the Republicans also feel that constitutionally, the fundamental idea that the states, not the federal government, should decide how to run their own elections is the way to go. Well, I don't know if they would feel that way if the Democrats controlled more states. Because I don't think that either party really has the will of the people as part of their initiatives. I think they very much are turf protectors. The Democrats want to protect their turf and the Republicans want to protect their turf. And that's why we have dark money and that's why we have a mess in the world of campaign finance. And so that probably should be in the bill, but if you got to get the bill passed, you got to give up something. Anyhow, they're going to be voting on this next week in the Senate. It's a test vote, really, just to see how many senators they have on board. And right now, the way I see it, this thing is really dead in the water because I don't know of any Republican who's going to break ranks and certainly not the 10 Republicans that you need to get to 60. And then you have Manchin who's not necessarily ready to give up his moderate position. So this act, this For the People Act, is in dire strait. And I think what it's going to take to get this thing passed is some hard-line left-wingers have to move toward the center, and some hard-line right-wingers have to move toward the center, and probably nothing will happen. So I leave you with that confusing thought this morning, and I will see you uh, tomorrow. Bye. Happy Father's Day!